Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Freelander. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Freelander 2 2.2 TD4S 4x4. It's 2012 on a 61 plate. It's done 77,317 miles. Two registered owners. Fuel economy. Urban is 38.2 miles per gallon, extra urban 50.4 miles per gallon, and combined is 45.6 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 10.7 seconds, a top speed of 112 miles per hour out of 150 brake horsepower, four cylinder 16 valve engine. Six months road tax is £112.75, while 12 months road tax is £205. It's finished in Santorini black, has grey cloth upholstery, the five dual spoke alloys. It's sat on continental 4x4 contacts all round, and there's even a full size spare wheel in the boot. We have the dark silver vents on the side. Electric boot release, plenty of room in the back, split folding rear seats um, the rear load cover is missing but we will endeavor to get another one to replace that a 12 volt power socket in the back has the heavy duty rubber mats uh, throughout the back seats look uh, immaculate looks like it's never been sat in in order to start the car those are the keys like little bricks, one slots in the dashboard, it uh, pulls the key in and foot on the clutch, press the starter button and that's it. Uh, now I'll just show you the service history. It's always good to see a proper service book and uh, with, with stamps in. So on the 17th of 12, 2012 at 12,859 miles, Stratstone Land Rover Stockton, Stockton. 23rd of 12, 2013, 27,861 miles, I think that is. Stratstone Land Rover Stockton. Not easy to say that. 2nd of the 8th, 2014, 30,961 Ripon Land Rover. 5th of the 8th, 2015, 35,552 Ripon Land Rover again and then 17 to the 8th 2016 41966 at JW 4x4 that's North Allerton 12th of the 9th 2017 50,372 JW 4x4 North Allerton again and it's I mean it's actually good to see they've got uh, the same service receptionist there uh, and um, I think that says Paula and she signed it and got got everything right uh, dates and everything 19th of the 9th 2018 at 59,178 miles JW4B4 18th of the 9th 2019 at 68,117 miles JW4B4 put that away now and as I say the car has done 77,314 miles now. It's uh, it's really good condition. One of the things that does make a difference to, to these videos is we've been so busy lately that uh, Lance is trying to catch up all the time. Um, he's cleaning the cars that are sold. I'm trying to do videos, so I'm often doing them before they've actually been cleaned. This one has been cleaned, and it, and it, it does make a difference when they, when they've been cleaned. Um, it really does because then you can see you know you as a customer can actually see what you're getting um, it's easy for us when we, when we see a vehicle to, um, to 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 see through any any grime any any dirt on the outside uh, and we know how the seats are going to come up and so on but as a customer it, it's probably difficult for you this this is a lovely lovely car um, it, it's just it is just so nice. So I'm going to take you for a drive in it now. It's nice to see this has got a service book. It's uh, uh, 
it's funny really when, when you're in a a new car dealership uh, every year you kind of get an influx of uh, apprentices especially in the old days there used to be a training scheme and uh, you, you you take three or four apprentices on put them in the workshop um, the ones that don't make it in the workshop you you try in the parts department if they didn't make it in the parts department then it would be uh, you know they'd, they'd be a trial for a service advisor um, and if they didn't make that they'd end up on the desk so a new car franchise they end up with three young lads that, that haven't cut it in any of the other departments service manager is going to keep one and get rid of two of them so he, he sets a little test uh, he, he sends all three of them to get the mileages the registrations uh, and, and the dates the service was was done he sends them out comes back and uh, the, the prize is an ice cream if they get it right they get an ice cream so <laughs> first one comes back and the, the service manager's looking at it and he says uh, yeah yep you've you've got the date right but you've got the mileage wrong so sorry next one comes in you've got the date right you've got the mileage right but you've written it in the uh, radio instruction book so I'm sorry the third one comes back and he says you've got the date right You've got the mileage right you've put it in the service book here's your reward here's an ice cream the kid gets all the ice cream and he goes <laughs> and the service manager thinks perfect <laughs> if you've ever seen any book stamp like i've seen you'll you'll know you'll think that's funny anybody else will think what's he talking about so one of the the great things that i like about uh Land Rovers, the, the Freelander feels more solid than most vehicles this, this size. You, you kind of get uh, 4B4s which are, are more uh, just style like 4B4s than actually proper 4B4s. These Freelanders, they feel solid. Um, I know we're getting a say it feels solid but I've got a rattle here So they, they, they feel a lot more kind of agricultural than most other four-wheel drives this size. And, uh, and I mean that in a, in a good way. It's, uh, I, I don't know what it is. Perhaps the engine's just a little bit noisier, um, but again, in a good way. The steering is, is more kind of positive and it just feels like it'd be no trouble going off the road in uh, in a Freelander. And I, I really do like, well, I like all Land Rover product these days. I, I was never always a fan, but recently then, uh, yes. You know, and, and this is kind of the, the pre-fancy touchscreen things. They're, they're all proper switches, all proper displays aircon switch on off radio switch on off and it's uh, a, a proper radio with a, a proper display and buttons to choose your channels actually I couldn't tell me my lens is obviously in the, these glasses are polarized and that screen there although there's an actual display on it it appears black to me the uh, lens is blocking out the uh, kind of glare off the little LED screen there. 
sorry, LCD screen in the liquid crystal. Nice turn of speed, good seating position. The seats are very, very comfortable, nice and padded. Got uh, cup holders here and uh, an oddment's bin there. Place for a flask down here. It has got, uh, I'm pretty sure it's got, if these lights down red long enough. Let's just have a look. We're, okay, we're stopped. Yep, height and reach adjustable steering wheel, so we'll just move that about a bit. We've also got. Electric dormer is there, up and down. Electric dormer is there. Yeah, so good grief. Less said about that, the better. out for the motorway with lovely drive nice and comfortable soaks the bumps up as I say the, uh, the the seats are superb air conditioning is nice and cold you've got your terrain response controls here and I, I keep saying I'll learn the uh, I always forget what Richard Hammond said <laughs> at the time, it really tickled me, I, I found it uh, very amusing, especially that one with the cactus, cactus there, that's, that's for driving in Mexico, somebody, uh, is there a, I think there's a snowflake on that, um, somebody sent one of the comments and said uh, that was, uh, Richard Hammond said that was for the Christmas setting. So, uh, blimey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, we've got no signs, so I'm going to take a chance. Gearbox is, is superb, nice light clutch. So, yes, uh, we'll try and get up to 70 and this car overtakes. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're still not going to make it. Seventy miles an hour, two thousand revs in sixth gear, nice and quiet, nice and smooth. in here. Anybody who watched my video the other day where the uh, camper van nearly took me out here, um, 
it's it's kind of chaos but um, some camper van website picked up the video and uh, it was funny reading the comments one person said if I hadn't been making a video I, I might have uh, I might not have been so surprised well to be honest no matter what happened seeing a camper van doing 70 miles an hour up the hard shoulder then through the chevrons that split the motorways and then down the middle of two lanes I think that would have uh, surprised me no, what, no matter what I was doing but it's, it's amazing people's take and people's perspective on, on different incidents another one said that the uh, guy in the camper van might have been making a video too <laughs> but uh, all, all these all these cameras here they're all fixed I don't mess about with them any movement that you see in the videos is done in editing and it's actually moving the video not moving the cameras there as I say they're fixed they're switched on before I set off and, and I can also control them by voice so uh, I'm uh, I'm just doing what everybody else does perhaps talking to a passenger and uh, switching controls on but explaining what I'm doing another chap said that uh, if he gets a phone call he uh, he says I'll call you back and then puts the phone down because it distracts him it's good that he knows his limitations and um, some people can't walk and chew gum at the same time that's life I'm afraid but anyway lovely cars say so heavy duty mats all round so the carpet will be like new underneath no wear on the steering wheel it's got a great service history no that's uh, that's a good taxi very um, conveniently placed number plate screw there Mr. Uber has got a very good taste in cars. Although I have to say he's not a very good driver. he's making a video Mr. Uber's texting. He's on the phone, no wonder he's all over the place. What a. Amazing, really. That uh, that Range Rover. You can, you know, you can control everything by voice these days. <laughs> a 
listen to any music. If you want to send a text or anything, there's, you know, there's just no reason to uh, to have to look at a phone while you're doing 50 mile an hour. Road's a bit of a mess. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad it hasn't been raining, or else uh, I'd have been hiding from Lance when I got back. So, as, as I say, it's this is how I like cars. I like gadgets, and I like cars. I don't like gadgets in cars. Um, I, I like switches that click, things you can do that. You hear it click, you can feel it click through your fingers. You know where the button is. You don't have a touch screen, what, what you don't know where you're doing and you have to take your eyes off the road. Um, it's, this, this, this is how cars should be made. cars that are made for a tougher purpose than you need, therefore they last longer, and uh, cars that are substantial in case you're unfortunate enough to have an, an accident, uh, whether it be your fault or somebody else's, in, in this car there's airbags all over the place, the passenger side there, driver's airbag, and uh, I think the B and C pillars. Just there's nothing has been spared on the service. It's got continental tyres on, and as I've said before, usually when people start scrimping on the um, service in, it's usually on the tyres first. So I'll finish the test drive there. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, thanks for all the inquiries we've had recently and all the comments on the videos. They, they really help. If they've been of any use to you, please like and subscribe. And uh, the website is uh, ggcars.co.uk. If you're looking at this car, when it's sold, that, uh, that's that camera overheating and switching itself off that and that's what that noise was so uh, again thanks for watching see you in the next video GoPros stop recording